Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is Quarry from G Video Productions. This is going to be my first vlog. I'm going to start vlogging my experiences as a videographer. This idea uh, is not mine. I actually got it from other uh, videographers and cinematographers who, who do this on YouTube as well. Uh, I actually got this idea to vlog my experiences from uh, David Moorfield. Uh, he's out in Florida. Uh, also, got the idea and other ideas that you'll be seeing in upcoming videos. Uh, another guy named Cranky Cameraman. Uh, just want to give my thanks to these individuals. Also, want to give my thanks to Photo Joseph, um, Brittany John A., um, Brandon Washington, Aaron Parecki, and there is so many more that is out there. There's way too many to name. Um, uh, also, uh, Frame Voyager. Um, there, there's so many out there. So, um, basically for today, I'm just introducing myself and also I'm doing a live stream um, the following day. I'm doing a women's basketball game, the New York Cup. Yes, I am from New York and this is New York City area that I'm, that I'm in. Um, there is a women's championship basketball game that's happening in Manhattan on uh, July 27th at 6 30 uh, p.m. in Harlem. So I am going to be doing a live stream from there and want to share that experience with you, show you my streaming setup, um, things that I'm going to do to work on to improve. If some of your other YouTubers that's out there, you have ideas, please share them with me. Um, like I said, I'm getting into this streaming part of my videography business kind of late. I, I usually stuck with just event videography and things like that. I didn't really get into the streaming service until COVID. And so I, I kind of got into this business kind of late, but I am in. So um, stay tuned. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more tomorrow, show you my setup um, that I have. Okay. So here's my setup. Here's the Pocket 4K that I'm running with. And the pocket 6k and we was running it on the live stream to the yellow box pro where we was running the yellow box onto yellow cast have roughly about 92 views tonight you know for this uh, championship basketball game women's uh, new york cup basketball and simple setup it was just with the Olympia cart. We was using that as the as our production cart. This is my my assistant. Okay. My very, very young assistant. I got my sister in the building. Chaplin does all the ladies' tournaments. So I'm doing this voiceover uh, while you see some of the shots of the gameplay for that live stream. Uh, overall, everything worked out pretty well. Uh, the scoreboard on the live stream from the yellow box, uh, all of that was pretty good. A couple of mistakes here and there, but um, overall it was pretty good. But what I learned from this, well, one of the things I actually learned from this uh, was there's a lot of moving parts when you're using the Yellow Box Pro doing a sports game like a basketball game, especially if you're using multiple cameras. So uh, I was I had the two cameras, 
switching them back and forth while they were running up and down the court, trying to keep up with the scoreboard um, on the scoreboard on the yellow box and then uh, inputting the scores. That is a lot of moving parts. So what am I going to do for the next time? Well, for the next time, I'm actually going to run the cameras into the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro. And then have the Mini Pro run into the yellow box. I'm going to have someone else control the cameras on the ATEM while I can focus on the, um, the scoreboard and the clock and keeping up with the score, making sure it's in sync with the game that's on the court. And then have someone else, uh, uh, even another person, uh, as far as to be on the um, secondary camera. So then this way, if minor adjustments need to be made, uh, I can actually make them. So uh, that, that's the one thing I, I, I did learn from that. I, I'm going to need a little bit more help, especially when you're doing a basketball game. Because like I said, it's a lot of, it's a lot of moving parts regarding uh, making sure the basketball game is running through um, through the live stream. So, uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next time. Yeah, I'm gonna say it.